in any country, in any city. Go to any computer that has access to the internet. Make sure the connection is secure for if the connection breaks, even for a moment, your soul shall know the horror of being fractured into thousands of bytes of information and deleted. Open the browser of your choice and go to whatever search engine you prefer. Type the holder of data into the search bar and pray. If you are lucky, nothing will happen, and a normal search page will come up. The holder has decided to ignore you. Many would recommend that you shut down the computer and walk away. Walk away from being a seeker. And walk away from the objects. Forget it all. If, however, the holder has decided to acknowledge your search, a blank page will open and there will be two links. Click one. If you've selected the correct link, you will find that you now sit in an empty room in front of a computer that you've never seen before. Do not look around. Keep your eyes straight ahead on the screen. If you clicked the wrong one, a pair of glowing eyes will appear on the screen. Turn off the computer as quickly as you can and flee. Do not stop to rest nor sleep. Sleep where you collapse. If you are lucky, you will get away before you are sucked into an eternity of agony so terrible that even the foulest of demons would weep for you. If you made it to the room, close the screen from your search. It should still be the same. Sit there quietly. Count the seconds if you must, but do not look away from the screen. Make no sound but your breathing and heartbeat. If you look away, or make any other sound, don't worry, your deletion will be far too quick for you to feel anything. When the time past has become so long that you can no longer count the seconds, you will hear a door open. Do not look. Open the page you minimized. If you see a well-dressed man on the screen, you are safe for now. If you see anything else, pray for insanity. It will make the suffering easier. A chat window will pop up. Click on it but type nothing. And ignore the putrid breath on the nape of your neck. After a time, text will appear in the chat window. Do not try to read it. It is the language of the holders and none have lived who have tried to decipher it. Instead type in what do they know. If you get no response, or you mistyped, the beast behind you will devour you, leaving nothing behind but your hands at the keyboard where you sat. However, if an answer appears, it will be in the same language as before. Type your question again. The text will warp across the screen but you must not look away, and you must not misspell anything. Eventually the warping will pass, and if you are still sane, the text before you will be in your native tongue. It will describe in horrifyingly clear detail every atrocity that every seeker has ever committed, in the name of the objects, and in finding their holders. You must keep reading, or your eyes will burn from the strain of seeing such horrors, even as text, and your mind will feel like it will splinter from the sheer evil of the actions. Do not scream, even as the fear seems to be clawing at your throat. Even as you might clay yourself in an attempt to end the torment, if your very essence is not destroyed by these horrors, feel free to stand up and turn around. Don't worry, the beast is gone for now and the door is open. You must leave the computer behind and simply walk out the door. If you stay, the beast will return and your death will be swift. Once you leave the room you'll find yourself waking up in the best you have last slept in. Beside you will be a black laptop. The laptop is object 406 of 538. Knowledge is your greatest ally against them.